Julie Sanders and I'm the principal here at Royal Holloway University of London. So the sustainability strategy has committed that Royal Holloway will aim by 2035 to be net zero on both scope one and scope two emissions with always the point that we will try to go further and faster where possible. Sector wide and in a national context we're starting to put proper metrics now around scope three emissions so I fully expect that we'll revisit the strategy and as we write the climate action plan the real implementation plan if you like of how we're going to achieve that we will start to build that into our thinking as well. My name is Maya Jarvis and I'm currently president at Royal Holloway Students Union. I think the climate crisis right now is absolutely unignorable and we can see that in wider society that is being recognised but I'd also say that students feel it really acutely as well and young people more broadly because our actions now will shape the future that young people enter or that students graduate into. It does have to be a whole university effort. It touches every part of the organisation. So you need to get all those different teams understanding that complex co-working to be the change. And that can be having to ask people to think about how they travel differently to work, how they're thinking about the buildings that they work in, the way in which we work in those buildings. And these can be really complex kind of cultural change questions, but we need to ask those together. I'm Jonathan Howe. Uh, I am the External Spaces business partner within the Estates Department. We've made some significant changes in the way in which we manage space with consideration of things such as use of fossil fuels, chemicals, use of materials and exploring ways in which the, we can reduce our impact either through um, a different style of management or a different type of machinery. We exist within a biodiversity emergency and therefore we have to integrate the biodiversity considerations into our daily business. My name is Mike Berry, I'm the Estates Director here at the University. So it is a very big journey, it's a marathon not a sprint and I suppose it's my job to help work with a lot of other people who are incredibly committed to continue this journey and evolve it. We want to ensure that as far as possible the way that we act as a responsible organisation is absolutely committed to delivering our role in both a regional, a national and an international response to things like global warming and you know, climate action. But we're on a journey like everybody else. I think we have in place now some of the key senior people that can actively bind together and I suppose catalyse a lot of positive action that staff and students want to see brought together and, 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 and mobilised. The students are absolutely vital and I suppose in some ways it's not about engaging our students with these issues, they are engaging us alongside them. Undergraduates, some of our master's students, some of our PhD researchers are really shaping the conversation. My name's Dorian thompson addo and I am the Interim Deputy Head of the Career Service. We recently held our first Sustainability Careers Day and it came about largely as a result of speaking to students who were really interested in wanting to move into professions and careers uh, where they could have a positive impact on the environment. You could be studying law, you could be studying drama, you could be studying politics and still progress into a sustainability related career. Hello, my name is Sigrun Wagner. I'm a professor in international business and sustainability. So carbon literacy training is in essence a day's worth of carbon literacy training and it's about equipping, motivating and inspiring individuals to take climate action in their daily lives. It's important for students to understand sustainability because that's a key skill in the 21st century, whether we think about our personal lives but also particularly with regards to students when they think about what they want to do after graduation in a work context. Employers are increasingly seeking graduates that are knowledgeable about sustainability, that are knowledgeable about climate action and climate change. And so it's really important that students have an understanding um, what the challenge is and how we can address it. My name is Klaus Dodds. I'm Executive Dean for the School of Life Sciences and Environment. The Living Sustainably Research Catalyst was established in 2021 and it was really uh, an opportunity, I think, to create a sort of galvanising force that brought together academics, research students and our external parties in a sort of shared endeavour. We've been working with local councils and government in places like Surrey County Council or Hounslow Borough Council to actively respond to their policy needs. And that might be around sustainable transport, for example. It might be about the development of the 15-minute neighbourhood. Or, globally, we've been working with international partners to respond to pressing challenges. 
I think we have a, a duty to ensure that our students not only graduate uh, with first-class academic credentials, but also that they're cognizant of the kind of challenges and also opportunities that will face them after they leave the university. It's a university of social purpose. It's deep in its history. Doing the work around the sustainability strategy here at the university gives real possibility for the future, uh, real hope and a sense that we can be the positive change. Thank you.